thousand people have come since the uh, the Labour government won the election. And look, this is ex extraordinary. It's remarkable that in Germany it wasn't illegal to people smuggle to uh, other nations outside the EU. But this will make no difference whatsoever. There is a silver bullet that will stop the boats. It's what we should have done uh, under the previous government, but they didn't have the guts to do it. Legally, you've got to pick up and take back to France, which we're entitled to do under the United Nations 1982 Convention of the Law of Sea. Mm. And what's interesting is I've been talking about this for over a year now. Mm. No lawyer, no government minister, no civil servant has said I'm wrong. And there's a reason for that, because I'm right. Well, and they're embarrassed. Well, that's and not true. I'll come back to that in a moment. But, Karen, um, on uh, your point, on Richard's point, I should say, that you didn't have the guts to do what Richard Tyson Reform UK is suggesting, and that's pushbacks. I think pushbacks was something, you know, it's about all very well Greece to Turkey, for example, who are, are quite clearly not um, close allies. But for the UK and France, close allies, mm. to be pushing boats back <coughs> is very <coughs> antagonistic. Let her, let her and, I think, and I think, Richard, you know, simple answers to this is not the solution. This is a very, very complicated situation. We need to stop people need feeling the need to leave their home countries in the first so, place. Karen, we need to work.